Hi, welcome to Raw Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on probability. Okay, when flipping one coin, why is the probability of the event lands on three equal to zero? Well, a coin, a coin's sample space is made up of heads and tails. Not numbers. Numbers make no sense. So lands on three just doesn't make sense when you're talking about flipping a coin. All right, what is the probability of rolling a five on two dice, six-sided die? Leave your answer as a fraction. Okay, so if we have two die, I'm gonna write out all the possibilities. We could roll a one on the first die and then a four on the second, so that is also four or one. A two on the first die and then a three on the second, so that's also three and two. So the number of elements that lead to a sum of five on two die is four. Now the number of elements in the sample space, we have six outcomes for the first die and six for the second, that's 36 total. Now the probability of rolling a five is going to be the number of elements that lead to the sum of five over the number of elements in the sample space, cut five and S, which is four over 36, which reduces to one over nine. What's the probability of rolling a one? Let's see, one and, well, that's not possible. The smallest sum is two. So the number of elements for rolling a one is zero. So the probability of rolling a one is the number of elements that are one over the number of elements in the sample space, which is zero over 36, which we will say is zero. You never leave a zero in a fraction. You always bring it down to just zero. What is the probability of rolling a sum of 12? Well, that's six and six, the largest of each die. So the number of elements that total uh, 12 is one. So the probability of 12 is one over 36. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.